guys, today we're talking about the five inch random orbitals. God. Today we're talking about the random orbital five inch sander. Yes, you, got the wall. It. you guys, oh my, oh my gosh. I finally got it. Um, I don't know what's with me today, speech impediments, but it's happening. Um, basically, you guys, uh, I like to run this thing off of compact batteries. You can't run off any 20 volt or flex volt battery, um, but I just feel like it's the best comfort and control with the little packs on it. Real thing I didn't like about it is the dust collection. I didn't think it did that good of a job. Granted, I didn't hook it up to an extractor. It's probably going to do a lot better on an extractor with some positive uh, suction going on on it. Real ergonomic on the front. 8 to 12,000. 10,000. 8 to 12. Oscillations per minute. And then uh, a nice soft on off here. And I like that soft or that uh, break off. What is it called? What do they call it? On off button? No, but when you turn it off, it breaks. It stops. They call it on a grinder, auto brake, auto stop. Oh, like an electric brake or something? Yeah, it's got like an electric brake in it. Yeah, that sounds Usually they quick. don't stop that quick, they spin yeah. out a little bit. Brushless motor, you guys, what are you thinking? Are you gay? I don't know, you pretty much said it all, man. There's not really much to say. I know, because this is like the sixth time we did it, and yeah. I, I listened to everything you said, and I just said it right now. I like it, I know, it's good. I, I like it, man. I learned, yeah. I learned it, you guys, you don't have to No, but in all honesty, I've been using the, I like, the DeWalt Sanders, I've been using it like since I think the first generation one. I love the feel, I love the ergonomics of it. Then I got Gen 2, which was awesome. And this is the first one I've seen with them with the cordless one. And we've done other cordless ones. We've done Royobi, Ridge, and Milwaukee in this one. Um, I think this one actually has the best feel out of all of them. Like you said, batteries are just different. Like I've been using the Milwaukee on my stairs constantly. And like you, what you're saying with the big battery, when I'm doing it underneath the stairs, you feel oh, the weight yeah. of the battery, you really do. This compact battery is great. And like you said, the dust system on this, I don't think it did a great job of catching a lot of the dust compared to some of the other ones I've tried, but I love how this actually locks on there. Yeah, I do like your positive lock system, I do but when you're that. out somewhere and you know you don't have a matching vacuum hose, it kind of sucks. It is. Because you have to like tough, duct yeah. tape it on or something like that. So you, with their system, you always have to use DeWalt tools and the, the DeWalt system with it. Unless you get the adapter that plugs into there and then you're okay. But that's just an extra thing to take around with you. But still, it's yeah. good. It's the best one I've seen. In terms of what? In terms of just locking and holding on. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Because that was the one thing I always had a problem with the Milwaukee is the dust collection system. The top always comes off. Like I knock into it and it comes off. And that does a great job, I think, catching a lot of the dust. But then as soon as it knocks off, everywhere, yeah. you know. Yeah, I mean. I but that's got a filter on it. I like it. It's a nice one, too. Yeah, I think if you're orbital sanding, you guys. I mean, yeah, that, this is going to catch a little bit of the dust. But most likely, if you want zero dust, you're definitely going to go to a Hepler or something. I got to say, I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think. But I've been using the heck out of, like, for sandpaper, I get the Merca. And I love that sandpaper. Are they um, uh, sandpaper or are they mesh? It's sandpaper, but I get it on Amazon, you get a 50 pack, you know, that comes in 80, 120, 220, 3 or whatever, 280, I think 320 or something. But I just got a whole bunch of it and I just feel like it lasts a long time because I'm doing a ton of it with oak, pine, um, and then some of that old cedar stuff. So yeah. it's been awesome. Cool. Good stuff, you guys. Let us know what you guys think. Comment below. I think this thing's about 119, 120 at Home Depot, something like that. 129, something like that. I think I saw it there. Um, definitely a cool little tool, especially if you're in the DeWalt uh, battery platform already. It's You're definitely going to just want to kind of jump into this. If you don't have any ba batteries out there and you're looking for a platform to jump in, we always say research your platforms. You know, you got Milwaukee, you got Makita, you have DeWalt. Just look oh, at sure. Makita's them. probably got a cool this one too, don't they? Yeah. Um, I don't know. They've been out of it, think. But I'm telling you what, I'm I'm loving the cordless. I wasn't a big fan of the cordless sanders. Oh, they're awesome. I'm telling you, using them at the house what? now. Well, especially me. I've got actually two outlets upstairs. That's all I have, and I'm trying to share it with a bunch of different things. So it's nice just to run and you know grab the sander and do what I got to do. Yeah, so. it's pretty cool stuff, you guys. Peace out. Don't forget to go over to ToolNation.com. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. You guys, we hit like 60-something thousand on Instagram, which is huge. And GeoCities, so, don't forget to check us out. Yeah, there check again. out our website on GeoCities. We're getting ready to just, uh, get it set up right now. Remember GeoCities? That was so fun. We should do a channel just on that. Wouldn't it be funny? Dress from like the 90s, have GeoCities, have this all look I like I kind of do already still dress for the 90s. Peace out, you guys. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.